Hi, my name is Johanna Knapp. I'm a project researcher at IPMU working on string theory. And I will talk to you today about 10-dimensional space-time. So obviously, uh, our space-time is not 10-dimensional, but rather 4-dimensional. We can move up and down, back and forth, left and right. And in physics, we also count time as a fourth dimension, but there are not 10. In their effort to understand the fundamental forces of nature, physicists have invented string theory. The essence of string theory is uh, that uh, the fundamental forces and the elementary particles uh, are all uh, generated by the motion of tiny strings. However, it turns out that string theory is only uh, consistent in 10 dimensional space time. So, how do we get from 10 dimensions down to 4 dimensions? The answer is called compactification. Uh, and the idea is that the six extra dimensions are actually small and wrapped up so that we cannot move in them and that also that we cannot see them. Uh, and the concept is very simple. This sheet of paper is a two dimensional surface, but I can wrap it up to form a cylinder. And if I make the cylinder very long and very thin, people from far away might not even know that it's a cylinder, but just a line, which is a one-dimensional object and no longer a two-dimensional object. And compactification in string theory works pretty much the same way, um, only that the internal six-dimensional space is a very complicated uh, mathematical object. The most prominent ones are called Calabiao manifold. This is a cartoon of a Calabiao. And the geometry of these uh, internal six dimensions influences the physics and the particle interactions in four dimensions. And at IPMU, we try to construct such examples uh, and investigate their properties. So, and up to now, 10-dimensional uh, space-time is only a theoretical construct, but we hope that it will soon be detected at the ex collider experiments at LHC.